for the chicken parmesan. Today we're making chicken parm. Next week you're just doing the, the, the frying part. You don't have to make the sauce and all that stuff. Okay, so you take out your chicken breasts. I'll do I'm going to do a couple here since we got extra. This could be a chicken tender. Okay. So when you put them on the plastic wrap, again, if the, if the tender is attached, try to keep it that way. But when you pound them out, it's going to want to move anyway. Okay. I put a little water on the plastic wrap. That allows them to move and slide so they don't tear. Okay? You put, put one on the bottom and one on the top. I like to hit the bottom part, the ugly part, and keep the top part down. You can try it either way, it doesn't matter. When you do this, you don't want to hit it with this part because that's going to turn it into a chicken burger. Okay? So, this is the skinny part. All you want to do is make this the same as this. Okay? So we're going to it's from the inside and you kind of try to kind of move it out. Don't hit it. You know, you got to be hard, but don't kill it. Give it a chance to do its thing. Okay, give it a chance to respond. Okay. That's pretty much good right there, right? So you can see that now this is pretty much one thickness, okay? Now, again, you could take this away, but when it's all breaded, nobody's going to know the difference anyway. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is season it. Always season the chicken. Don't season the flour because you don't know how much seasoning is coming from the flour to the chicken. It's very hard to over-season chicken. Okay, goes into the flour first. We're gonna get this one ready. Can somebody grab a uh, whisk. whisk for me, please? set up for you guys can come over and do your, that way we'll have one station. And you just need enough milk to loosen up the egg, you know. You don't always have to use milk, but in this case, it just gives a little something. But what you want to do, what you want to do is loosen up that egg so that it's not all stringy. Right? You, you just want it to, to coat, but not be thick and gloopy. I don't know a better technical term than gloopy. Okay. So now, you put it in the flour, and again, you don't want any, you don't want all this extra flour. It's just what sticks. Otherwise, it's going to be just kind of nasty. Okay? So, so why do we go in this order? Right, wet doesn't stick to wet. So chicken's wet, now we make it dry. Now we give the eggs something to stick to. It sticks to the flour. You just go in and you let it drip off. You don't need a bunch of extra. Because all that's going to do is mess up your breadcrumbs. Ideally, you try to keep one hand dry, one hand wet, and work from dry to dry. Okay? You can do this, right, if it's wet. And you push, I like to push down so you get a nice adherence. really not necessary to do two coats on this. It gets really overdone. It's okay if there's a little gap. It won't sh when, you, when you fry it, it's going to be just fine. Okay? And then you got a pan to put that on or a plate. So that one's ready to go when I'm ready to fry. Ideally, you don't, you, you know, you can do it ahead of time. And that's fine too. Sometimes, actually, if you let it sit a while, it actually helps the breading adhere. Stick. Okay? Then I'll show you, then we're going to fry that later.